You have to weigh between how much do you try versus, you know, what's in, in the best interest of the animal. How long do you just let him be in that condition? I think there are a few differences between making a decision to euthanize one of your pets and making a decision to euthanize one of our animals at the zoo. There's a lot of things that your pet can continue to enjoy even if they, they're not fully functional. You know, your pet will enjoy being on the bed with you and spending time with you. Our animals at the zoo, they're really wild animals. They need to be able to do all of the behaviors that make them happy. And if they can't do the behaviors that make them happy anymore, then that's how we make the decision to euthanize them. Hey, Jim, it's Pat. We're going to euthanize that snow leopard snowballs. It's time. I just didn't want them to go through another night, so. All right. OK, um, I'll talk to you later. Bye. So it's always really difficult to make these decisions. It's, uh... It's, it's a final decision. Oh. There you go, buddy. Go to sleep. Hey, pretty boy. Take the catheter stuff off because yep. sure. Pat doesn't like it. Machine. Even when you know it's the right decision, it's still not easy.